Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and today I've got a Lenovo A7000 with me. So let's go ahead, unbox this and take a quick look inside. So we've got regular Lenovo packaging here. We've got Lenovo branding, the regular stuff. And to the back, we've got a quick little bunch of highlights. So 4G LTE through a true 8 core, uh, Dolby Atmos, the first device uh, smartphone with that on board, Android OS. We've got uh, this is powered by a MediaTek uh, octa-core chip uh, with eight Cortex A53 cores clocked at 1.5 gigahertz each, a 5.5 inch uh, 720p IPS LCD display, two gigs of RAM, eight gigs of internal storage, meaning it has lesser internal storage than the A6000 plus, expandable up to 32 gigs of cores, 8 megapixel rear camera, 5 megapixel front camera, dual mini SIM, a 2900 mAh embedded battery. These are typos, by the way. It should read dual micro SIM and 2900 mAh removable battery. I've checked with Lenovo and they've assured me that they are aware of this issue and it'll be fixed from the next batch of devices that are being sold. So, anyway, moving on. So, here's the Lenovo A7000. So, let's set that aside for the time being. Barring that, we have a uh, a screen protector included in the box and here we usually have a bunch of booklets with Lenovo and quick start guide Lenovo A7000 and if we have earphones included this was in there with the A6000 plus a micro USB cable a travel adapter and the 2900 milliamp hour battery so Let's go ahead, put all these back in and get the A7000 itself. Uh, let's just peel this off. A 5.5 inch IPS LCD display here. And uh, let's get the battery, open it up. And it's about eight millimeters thick. Weighs in at 140 grams, which is pretty light for a d device with a 5.5 inch display. So the first SIM slot is a 4G capable slot. The second one supports only 2G. And this is the micro SD slot. So popping in the battery. So, uh, okay, let's just put this up. Enough. Take a look at the hardware. So, uh, capacitive keys at the bottom, menu, home, back, nothing to the left, to the bottom. This is just the secondary uh, microphone. To the right, we've got a power button and the volume rockers. Feel pretty good. Tactile as well. And up top, we've got a micro USB port, 3.5 mm headphone jack. To the back, 8 megapixel rear camera, dual LED flash, primary microphone, speaker, Lenovo branding. And to the front, 5 megapixel front camera and the earpiece on top. So let's just wait for the phone to boot up. So the Lenovo A7000 is powered by the MediaTek uh, True 8 core chip. That's the MT6752M to be precise. So like I said, 8 Cortex A53 cores clocked at 1.5 gigahertz each. So anyway, let's wait for this to boot up. So there you go guys, we're up. Let's quickly run through setup. It's worth noting that this did take quite a long time to boot up, about five, six minutes. So if you've just bought a A7000 and it's taking quite a lot long time to boot up, don't worry about it. Seems to be natural with Lenovo, uh, seems to be normal with Lenovo devices. So anyway, let's just crank up the brightness a little bit. Okay, all right, so going into settings, the A7000 runs on Android 5.0, Lollipop. So let's also check out the RAM available. Oops. Okay. The menu key now by default actually works as the recent apps key. So if you want the menu functionality, you need to press and hold. This is kind of uh, the opposite of what we've seen with the A6000 and the A6000 Plus. So we've got about 1200 uh, megs of RAM available. So clean it, you get about 1.4 gigs of free RAM available. So that's pretty sweet. 
So this is the 8 megapixel rear camera. And okay, no film on top of it here. So anyway. All right. Going to settings. 1080p videos. That's the 5 megapixel front camera. Hey guys, so it doesn't seem too great. The front camera, anyway. Let me spend more time with it before I make a judgment. So, uh, Lollipop, Dolby, uh, 8 core chip, 2 gigs RAM. Okay, internal storage. Let's see how much usable storage we have. So, quickly going into storage. We get about 3.6 gigs of usable storage, so that's okay. So these are the apps included quite a lot. Again, there's no app drawer here with Lenovo's UI, meaning you have to sort everything into folders, everything, all the apps go straight to your home screen. So I guess that's pretty much it guys for this quick little unboxing and hands-on video of the Lenovo A7000. Hope you guys liked the video, hope you found it useful. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, do stay subscribed. So if you do wanna pick an A7000 app, you can do that from Flipkart. I'll leave a direct link in the description down below. So I guess that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ashia from C4E Tech, signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.